Yeah, I mean, it's coming. Excuse my voice. Um, I mean, I feel like it's coming along. I think every year, you know, defensively, um, you deal with what teams are going to present to you next. You know what I mean? So uh, it took us a couple, obviously more than a couple weeks to kind of start to communicate and see what teams are really trying to do against us. But um, we got some good coaches. And uh, so, and then the guys we got on, on our team, you know, they're all in. So uh, we knew it was going to get there. And uh, we still feel like we could be much better. Did that speak to, to you guys sort of neutralizing Barry Waller so much in the game? That it wasn't just one particular guy in the secondary, that it was the portion of everybody? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think, you know, obviously, I think during the course of the game, obviously, he wasn't necessarily featured um, as much as he's been featured in the past. Um, I thought Spags had a couple, um, you know, wrinkles for him. Uh, I think Melvin, you know, uh, you know, bumping him sometimes at the line of scrimmage, um, obviously me covering him, um, Snead in certain situations, um, just trying to mix up the looks that he see, you know, um, and I think it's, it's going to pay a lot for us, you know, going forward. I mean, you know, every game from here on out is a must-win game for us. Um, I mean, that, that's really how we're looking at it. Um, you know, every game is important. Every series is important. And um, in those critical down and distances, you, you want good on good. You know, you want whoever you think your guy is and whoever you think their guy is, you know, let's play. So um, I thought Spags had a great game plan. And um, for me, I just try to, you know, flow with it. I mean, yeah, I'm not necessarily looking back, um, you know, and, 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 you know, being to the last two Super Bowls, they don't crown champions in October, you know, in November. Um, so, you know, like I mentioned, um, you know, uh, we know it's going to take some time, you know, uh, it, in the last couple of years, it's taken us, you know, quite some time to kind of start clicking, but uh, we believe in it. And I think that at the end of the day, that's all that really matters. Yeah. Uh, talk about the resilience of the team. Of course, when you mentioned 2019, you all had that big loss to the Tigers and you turn, kind of turned things around. You had the big loss this year in Nashville. Now you've all been on a three-game winning streak, and now you're on a now back to the first place in the division. What type of resiliency are you all seeing right now within the locker room? Yeah, man, we got a strong team. We got a strong character. Um, you know, I think our coaches are, you know, well seasoned, you know, and experienced. And so, uh, you know, we know that we have a chance and we, and we have a shot. You know, every time we prepare, uh, each and every week. Um, and, and at the end of the day, all is, it comes down to execution. You know, um, and that and that falls on the players. Um, and, and I thought tonight we executed the right way. Um, and I thought our coaches did did, did did what they needed to do as well. And with the help of, uh, with the, help of, of the defense, now that you're seeing all the players including with the inclusion of Melvin Ingram, is this what you thought? Most definitely. I think we're going to continue to get better. Um, you know, just like the last couple of seasons, I, I see us being one of the better defenses, you know, when it matters the most late in the season. Kirby. Karen, along those same lines, what kind of a, what kind of a message does a performance like tonight send to the rest of the league and even some of the doubters that were out there coming into this weekend? I mean, listen, man, I think, you know, I think it's always going to be people kind of nitpicking and, you know, everybody has expectations for the Kansas City Chiefs, um, you know, being being that we went to the last couple Super Bowls. Um, but, I mean, this game is hard. You know, it's ebbs and flows, it's ups and downs. And um, But I, I wouldn't want to be in this with, with nobody else. Um, you know, I think Spags is, is, is one of those guys I would want in my foxhole. And, you know, I could go on and on. Um, so those are the things that we believe in. And um, so that's what we're going to continue to believe in. Lastly, we'll start now. <coughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think the football guards was on my side. I think I was supposed to have that interception. So <laughs> I think I think he was just looking out for me, man. But um, you know, that, that, that's another thing, man. You know, you got when you got guys playing fast, um, you know, we can make up for uh, others' mistakes. And I think we, we I think we're trending towards that. You know, even when we do mess up, um, it's somebody back there that could kind of make it right, or somebody up front that could disrupt it. So, um, but yeah, I thought you know, I, 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 football guards, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kyron, uh, Andy Reid opened up saying hats off to the fans here. Uh, fans, we talked to you called the Arrowhead Flesh. What did it feel yeah. like down there on the field? Were there a lot of fans? Were you oh, no, nah, it, was, it was real. You know, I think, you know, obviously, you know, during the national anthem, and, you know, um, you know, obviously I was expecting to hear home of the Raiders, but uh, I think home of the Chiefs was kind of drowning them out. So uh, we knew that we were, uh, you know, we knew we had a lot of support in the building, and, you know, our fans travel well, and I think any time they – 
you know, really support us, uh, you know, that, that gives us that extra confidence as well. I mean, he's coming into his own. I, I know he probably, you know, weren't making the plays early in the season that, that, that I thought he would make and, and he thought. Uh, but he's coming along, man. Um, I think the whole world would know his name by the end of the season. Last one, JJ. Uh, Tom, <coughs> um, it's been a long time since we've had defeat in first place. <laughs> How does that feel? How does that feel? I mean, it feels good. Um, you know, like I said, man, um, you know, they're not crowning anybody in, in November. Uh, so we got, you know, we got a lot more games left. And so uh, we got the Chargers coming up, the Cowboys. We got some big games coming up. And, you know, that's really where our focus should be at. Um, but uh, obviously with the way we started the season, uh, to be in this position uh, is very humbling. Um, and uh, so we just got to keep it going. All right, thanks, Tom.